that 80 countries are experiencing water shortages. That's more than 2 billion people that don't have access to clean, fresh water. No matter how fantastic the regulations are and the laws that your government puts into place here, I don't believe the fracking is going to be safe or done responsibly because where I live in Alberta, Canada, they have the best regulations in the world and some of the big companies ignore them and when they are non-compliant and citizens that are affected present the non-compliance to the regulators, the regulators then bully and shame and blame the citizens and they do not enforce their regulations. It's impossible to protect health, communities, children, water. Under our treaties, you have an obligation to protect the sacredness of the earth from contamination and exploitation and to respect and care for the land that we have shared with you. The presence of oil, gas and mining companies are in violation of our peace and friendship treaties that were signed between the Crown, its citizens and the first people of this territory. <laughs> We are a rural farming community turned into an industrial park. Industry changes the landscape forever. It changes not only the landscape, it changes the community in which you live. In my experience, it divides the community. It changes you to the very core of your being. It changes who you are. The Department of Environment can be ordered to monitor the river, the Kennebecasis River, below these 17 wells and see if there's methane getting into the river. There's been dead fish coming up all summer. Oh, do we have to wait for a fish kill? We will, we will, it'll be under the regulatory system of New Brunswick. The government of New Brunswick, time and time again, is saying, trust us, we will protect you. And yet, when the people of Panosquist need the protection of their government, it is not given to them. So in order to get the industry to come in, I guess, they gave away the first year of royalties. Unfortunately, the first year that the well produces is the most productive, and it may produce more in the first year than it does the entire life of the well. Following a recent annual general meeting of the College of Family Physicians, members of our college voted on a resolution against hydraulic fracturing in New Brunswick. When the water wells began to go bad and Canna promised the Rosebud Dinner Theatre $150,000, I say to you, say no to the poisoned apple. This is how they divide and conquer communities, in my view.